What are the types of abdominal hernias? Number one, inguinal or groin hernias are located in the groin and occur when the bowel or other internal organs bulge through the muscle wall in the groin area. Inguinal hernias can be congenital, meaning that they are present at birth or can also occur at any point in life. Risk factors for inguinal hernias include strenuous activity, for example, lifting heavy objects, muscle weakness due to age, and chronic coughing. Number two, umbilical hernias protrude through the belly button. They are very common in babies and young children and result when the belly button fails to close properly after the umbilical cord is cut. When present at birth, umbilical hernias usually close on their own by the time children reach three to four years of age. If umbilical hernias do not close by this age, corrective surgery may be considered. Adults can develop umbilical hernias when there is too much pressure in the abdominal area, as often occurs with weight gain or pregnancy. Surgical repair is usually recommended to reduce the risk of incarceration or strangulation. Three, ventral hernias. Ventral hernias occur in the middle of the abdomen, usually above the belly button. They result from a weakness in the lining between the major abdominal muscles. While most ventral hernias have no known cause, being overweight increases risk. Ventral hernias rarely become incarcerated. Number four, incisional hernias can occur through any abdominal surgical incision. They may develop years after the original operation. Risk factors include strenuous activity and heavy lifting before the surgical incision has healed fully, obesity, post-operative wound infection, use of certain medications, and smoking. Rarely, improper closure of the incision by the operating surgeon can lead to hernia formation. Hernias are most likely to occur in incisions located in the middle of the abdomen, but can occur through any prior abdominal incision. Number five, spigalian hernias occur between the abdominal muscles and the inner abdominal cavity. They do not typically bulge through all layers of the abdominal wall, making them difficult to detect. They can either be present at birth or acquired at any age. Women are at a higher risk for this type of hernia than men. Because there is a high risk of strangulation, surgical correction is usually recommended. Six, lumbar hernias. Lumbar hernias protrude toward the sides of the abdomen below the rib cage. They are rare and may either be present from birth or occur as a result of trauma or strenuous activity. Surgical correction is usually recommended for lumbar hernias. Seven, obturator hernias. Obturator hernias protrude through one of the two holes formed by the pelvic bones. They are relatively rare and occur mostly in older females. Because they are located deep within the pelvis, they can be hard to diagnose. Obturator hernias tend to strangulate and cause blockage of the small intestine. Thus, they are considered serious and require surgical repair.